with you. I just wanna be with you. Whoa. That was almost like a yodel. Hey everybody, how's it going? I am back with another music video reaction slash review, and this time it is for Fly by GOT7. Should be pretty interesting, so let's go ahead, jump right in and check it out. Here we go. This is interesting. Definitely like a halftime feel with the really fast subdivisions but the really slow beat. I keep expecting it to go to like regular time and it hasn't quite yet. There we go, there's regular time. Cool little post-chorus kind of thing going on here. Some really nice vocals. It's kind of like low-key EDM. Like, it's got all the elements of EDM, but it's, like, really subdued and kind of in the background. A little bit of, like, a trap feel, but kind of an interesting take on it. Really cool vocals here. Some octaves going on. Hear that shifted low part? Alright, this is a cool music video too. Yeah, you wish you could jump that high. I know I do. Whoa! That was almost like a yodel. Kind of back to like the halftime slow jam thing. It's still got those little like hints of EDM in there. There's some really fantastic harmonies in this song. They're very kind of smoothed out and kind of washed out. Um, so it's not quite as intense and like immediately noticeable, but they're definitely there. It's some really great singing going on in the background. Um, lots of layers, lots of cool vocal parts. I wish they would have upped that a little bit in the mix and not had it like so dreamy and sort of like floating in the background. And it looks like that's the end of the music video. I kind of felt like we missed out a little bit on like a really big climax to the energy level of the song. You know, usually that's like towards the bridge or the last chorus, or sometimes they have like a breakdown, or if it's a rock song, you know, it's maybe the guitar solo or coming out of the guitar solo. This song had kind of a strange breakdown and bridge area, so that's why I think it kind of sidestepped like a really intense build-up moment. So I think that's what's giving me the feeling that this song is missing something a little bit. Uh, but having said that, I still really like it. There are a lot of really cool elements in here. Um, like I was just talking about those background vocals, the harmonies were absolutely top notch. I wish they would have even been a little bit louder in the mix, even though I do understand, you know, with this whole kind of like dreamy, flying around, floating in space kind of feel and concept of the song, why they decided to mix them in kind of like they did. They used it as like a spatial kind of ambience, almost like a synth pad rather than you know, like really intense backing vocal harmonies that was following the lead part. And also the kind of like low key EDM influence of this song where it kind of goes into like the trap thing, the hip hop thing a little bit, 
the rap thing and almost like a slow jam kind of thing but it still retains these little elements and synth parts and kind of that like underlayment of intensity that edm has that was a really kind of interesting creative choice but i think they were successful with it it worked out pretty well so anyway let's go back through this song listen to it again analyze it some more and see what we can find here we go got those little like pitch shifted vocal samples that kind of dates the song a little bit it sounds a little bit dated um back to like early 2000s late 90s uh but i'm sure that's what they were going for jyp does that a lot i think he really likes that time period of music and there's nothing wrong with that but you can see that influence with all of the groups on that label kind of you know from him I'm going to pause it here for a second. I really would have liked to hear the song uh, pick up a little bit there to go to like the double time from halftime, which is regular time feel. You know, put some claps in there just on all the downbeats or something or snare hits, just something to change up the feel, give it a little more like build up and energy right there. Um, I think it would have really matched the pre-chorus and what was going on there musically and helped to kind of build excitement towards the chorus. So that's one thing I would have changed a little bit. Not a huge deal, you know, it doesn't ruin the song or anything, but it's one of those things that I think they could have tweaked that would have taken the song like to another level. So anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> And the post-chorus, this section here. Try to ignore everything going on listening to the background harmonies here. And then you have those little, like, synth stabs, you know, very electronic EDM kind of sound. Just sneaking in there a little bit. Nothing uh, too over the top. Really cool how that was implemented. And there's a lot of vocal shifting, like octave shifting, that gives it that, you know, crazy like demon voice sound. They use that in the pre-choruses as well. Listen here for it. Right there, you can really tell that it's a shifted voice down an octave. I really like the music video too, especially this part here. Just kind of showing them like lifting off. That's a really cool kind of high point in the music video concept. And then here we get to the bridge. This is where I felt like there was something a little bit missing from the song. They kind of pulled it back, kind of creating some dynamics for that bridge. But it doesn't take off to something right after they go into this kind of slow jam here after the kind of strange like huge interval yodeling vocal part which is impressive vocally but a little strange stylistically for me and then they just kind of awkwardly go into the last chorus i think they could have done a lot more building into that to really make it flow um into this last chorus and really made it like an emotional high point of the song and then it does end right here. They don't like have a second repeat of the last chorus either. And since it's missing like that climax of all the energy of the song coming to a high point, it does feel, especially the second time I listened to it, this is like the fourth or fifth time I've listened to it. It definitely feels like it ends a little bit abruptly. Like maybe they should have done another repeat on the chorus. Again, you know, it's just a small arrangement thing that I'm kind of picking at, but I definitely think that it could have made the song a little bit more interesting. So overall, I really like the song. It was a cool concept. I think they could have gone a little bit more intense with the production, the mixing, uh, especially, you know, bringing in the background vocals, make them a little less dreamy and sort of you know, floating and ethereal, a little more in your face and intense. That would have been my preference, but again, it's just a 
personal production preference thing. It's nothing huge to pick at. It doesn't ruin the song at all. I still really enjoyed it. But hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from with the little criticisms here and there because it's just those little things that I think could have really optimized the song and made it a little bit more interesting for the listener. So feel free to let me know in the comments section what you thought about that. Do you agree that the song could have been a little bit more intense or would you have liked it to be even more ethereal and kind of dreamy, almost like a chill step song? Let me know and we'll see what everybody thinks. So thanks so much for watching this music video reaction slash review please like comment and subscribe if you could share this video all over the place facebook tumblr twitter forums and anywhere else all that stuff really helps me out and i'll see you guys next time